We all know the legend that is the Mini Cooper. The giant killing rally car that beat the world in Monte Carlo. But few remember it was a successful racing car as well, with its little front tyres pouring off smoke as the likes of John Rhodes roared to championship victories. Mind you, even it had its limits. Well, guess what? The Mini Cooper is back. And I don't mean the new Minis that are Cooper in name only. This is the works deal. Pay Cooper Garages £19,950 and in return you'll get a 132 horsepower road legal car to keep, race training and entry to a one make motorsport series. The Cub Sport car comes with a roll cage, beefier brakes and sports exhaust. It's lowered, stiffened, has a bolt-in race seat and harness and it all works like this. You simply turn up the circuit. Put on your kit and go for a race. Then at the end of the day, you drive your works Mini Cooper home again. Assuming it's still in one piece. Now I've been waiting a long time to get this new Mini onto a track to see just how good it is and to see how much progress has been made over the last 40 years. But who can do justice to the old Mini Cooper? Well, who better? than Smokey Rhodes himself. Dwarfing its legendary predecessor, the newer model with its extra power and torque gets away the best. But with only half its weight, the cheeky little original soon squeaks into the lead and just after the first corner, drops a valve. So I guess 40 years of progress have counted for something. Nice try, John. Didn't they tell you that nowadays smoking is bad for your health? Well, I wish uh, all races I've ever done could be won that easily. At least it now gives me the chance to uh, pressure evaluate this new works when he Cooper as a racing car for the amateur. And the first thing you notice is just how flatly this Mini Cooper corners. There seems to be no roll at all. Mild understeer, no lift off over steer, you have to flip the curb to get rid of it. Pretty, but pretty effective. Now the high speed sweeps around the back of Thruxton are a real test for any car. If it doesn't handle well, it could be a spooky nightmare. But for the apprentice, he's going to find this a joy. Put the feather, the cornering at 100 miles an hour. And it's a beautifully balanced little car. Picking up speed now down the hill before this famous church corner, 110 miles now fourth gear, just a little lift, find that curb. Out onto the main straight now, doing 110 again, lost no speed, and finally into fifth gear. And the brakes have also had a step. You can't believe how late you can break for the famous chicane. Right down the second. Quick one curb, took the brake, but it turns, it changes direction so well. When it happens again, as I said, that lift off over here, hardly any body roll. And that finishes another lap of thruster. But it doesn't finish the story, because if you want a works mini just for the road, then Cooper Garages will sell you one for £14,100. And there's a 210 horsepower S version on the way next year.